Maybe it's worth it. I no longer need the equipment. Yeah, that one. Seventy-one fifty, seventy-two forty-nine. Speed eighty-five ninety-one. Eighty-eight. Uh, okay, I think that one's better a little bit. Yeah, they literally just instantly run away. This is me off to no end. Like, what's the point of capturing anyone? I mean, that pissed me off in Warband as well. That means just escaping instantly. Okay, yeah, let's do this a little bit smarter keep the axe for like uh, get the shield as well to ditch these the girl but we need a spear that's going pike no i don't want a pike i want a spear or a lance that could work lance yeah this one the wing and the leaf Unless you execute them. <laughs> I guess that works, right? Just ex execute the enemies. Let's get the shield. Now the problem is with going to, with the tallest horse round shield. I guess... The idea would be to go with the... Large. Uh, is there like a hidden stat, like a size rating, like it there was in Warband, or does it is it all the same, literally? A shield has speed. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a perk now. Well, right. And I took. Did I take to all the ones that uh, are not the ones that I need? In the one hand and tree, right? list of the parts he has he gives me a wall of text jesus yes so shield we have a spear we have a sword you okay, see so, well i guess we, all while we are on the horseback we want saber and we want spear and i sure let's have a throwing weapon then for f like a uh, uh, siege battles, we're gonna do ha uh, axe, shield, and sword, and throwing weapon, of course. I think that's gonna be the go to. Uh, by the name, the name's Svitagor, or Svitagor, whoever wanna, wanna pronounce that. That's uh, Slavic mythology. 
It's like a mythical being, hero, giant. You can Google it if you want to. So that's where the name came from. And the picture as well. Besieging Dinar Castle. No, not the Dinar. Where the fuck did that big fuck-ass ar fuck army go? It would be funny if they're like besieging that over there. Oh, never mind, we pissed out. We, pi we pissed out. Copy paste this onto your banner, sure. Give me the code. I did pick a, like a code from a uh, you know Reddit. I was thinking the the, the banner or paste mod was something else. I'm used to like photoshopping my banner into the game, like in Warband. I'm too dumb for all the code shit in the banner creator, <laughs> to be honest. Just sent it to the Gilded, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. These give you coordinates to the treasure, or sunken treasure of the of Blackbeard. It's a bit cut off, just a bit. Did you make it? So you can, like move it a little, a little bit up. Okay, here it looks fine, but on the on the flag is, I mean, uh, not that big of a deal. Oh god, why this one? I did watch Vikings. It's a little bit like cut off at the bottom. Use the sa be a be be an Easterner and use a saber like a oh my fucking god. Makes the shield go black, yeah. If only we had a bigger one. Remember how big the house Carl shield was in like Warband? It was freaking huge. The mist is so realistic, I lost my troops in it. Right, I don't have the two handed axe, so let's stab people if they don't block. I still do need to like watch. I think I watched the Vikings to like mid fourth season. Then I had like a pause until the like, uh, like last episode, uh, Ivar killed one of his brothers. I can't remember which one. Or their names, to be honest. That's like the last one I watched. I have a shield. The passive shield. I guess that could work. I should have a full infantry army for this, right? A couple of archers. 
make it look a little Viking-ish. There we go, I'm in my element. <laughs> Do need to go to the Valandian territory to get it though. Well, we can move around by for not at war anymore. Clear the loot. I still have a ton of money as well. And these ones. These ones. Let's go grab ourselves a pretty big sh Oh god, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get over there, but we're not at war, so make it over there. I guess we can, I can, I can stick with this one as well. Um, I, can, I mean, I'll go get it, just so we can see how it looks. I do want to look Viking-ish. -ish. Oh my god. Funnily enough, we st we're still on our old borders. Nothing was taken, nothing was gained. Actually, did anyone gain anything? Uh, I don't think any faction expanded, like, at all. Did it? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, the I think the Western Empire they, they did grab to Billy to Billy's castle. Okay, the Batanians grabbed that I think. Nothing else stay the same or less. Defending. Maybe I should uh, like. Um, how many companions can we have? All oh, right, with the mods we can have as many as a recruit. Like have a big party of named heroes in our party. So we can have like archers, uh, berserkers. We can actually do that since we can actually make uh, as many companions as we want, to be honest. Just have a ton of... Uh, let's get here. A ton of companions in the party and have them as an army. With all the skills and the buffs they get. Okay, Pevis shield. Or passive shield. Eh. Looks like shit. Looks like Kai Eastern Shield. Hmm. Army of Companions. Like the Macedonian Companions. I guess that would be the idea, like uh, once the Greeks get in introduced into. Uh, Eagle Rising Companion Calf
Alexander the Great and his companion Cav. Could they actually work out? I wonder how are they, how are they gonna like uh, make the troops for it? They should make companion Cav, right? I mean that you know that that should be obvious for the Greeks at least, not for the Spartans, but. I wonder if they're gonna make the Spartans like only infantry with like slingers or something. Oh look, a battle, uh, a battle map that actually benefits us. Might actually, yeah. Oh, that that would be a problem. Okay, I was about to say I'm gonna go and uh, become a patron on their uh, on their Patreon, of course. But uh, I won't. I couldn't keep my mouth shut, probably. And this is good to see, like the sh the guys with the shields in front, the, all the other guys in the back. AI being smart for once. Me being dumb and getting hit by them even though I'm on a horse and I have reach on me. Reach on them. This a lance. Oh no, this is the leaf spear, right? Is there a mod that makes this, uh, makes them unable to block spears? That would be nice. <laughs> That's the one I need. What, what, what do you do? Where do you work at? Maybe you can get me a job. <laughs> I could build creation. Close enough. To home. Uh, well, then again, I have to finish college. Well, I don't have to, but it would be nice. I'm already two years in. Well, one and a half. Peons as companions, though, that would be not ideal. Uh, might be better if I just take the, all the loot myself so I can actually give it back to the troops, right? I was in Belgium. Uh, well, I mean, it could get me in, but I know fuck all about it. But I'm an artist, right? I'm an artistic soul. I could do the marketing or the ad design. 
Holy hell, we're utterly broken. The enemy, I salute you. Was this here before? Was this here before? Fuck me if I know. Or is that the, the loot mod thing? Okay, let's uh, turn this down now. There's no point. Uh, let's go like 40%. Get the morale system up again. I think by default it's like uh, at 30, right? Now oh, fuck it. Yeah, I can't get it on to 30. <laughs> or, yeah, I just leave it on default. Lower it down. Comes the thing, Stimulus Service. Yeah, that would make sense. But I haven't seen it in the last playthrough. So, it might be, it might be the, the, you know, the post-battle loot screen. So, like, troops want some, some of the spoils from the battle. You know, I'd be dead. Like how I have a shitload of money still and I don't even need to care about it. So let's... Well, like I do use the loot only for... Uh, bringing that down a little bit more. Join the tournament. I'm gonna get wrecked by my own companions, by the way. Yep. <laughs> I guess that's one uh, one problem. Um, look! Look at these beasts. That's the one thing I don't like when you have a bunch of companions and good troops on you, even like in Warband. You go into fucking the... Oh yeah, uh, the EDD, what's their faces? Uh, arena battles or tournaments, you just get wrecked. Instantly. By them, of course. Who else? Hmm, there's a bunch of these... Ooh. Can I... Can I... Can I me lure them in? No, they don't really give a fuck. It would be nice if you can lure the two of us to, like, to get there so I can grab them both. Never mind. Uh, let's go into the Empire territory. I'm sure they have a, 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 a renegade problem. Oh, never mind. Ask and you shall receive. What's our clan level, by the way? Only two. Yes, yes, Emmy. Thank you for the donation again. And good night. I'll stream probably on Friday. Oh, no, wait. What day is it today? Okay, it's already Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, I'm not sure on, on about Friday. We'll see. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Wrong button. <laughs> yeah, good night. Here with everyone. They've been live three hours. I'll be off soon, pretty as as well. Pretty soon. 
You'll brush it soon. I think the shield perks are in one hand, in the, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, it is. Shield takes 10% less damage, you gain 5% hit points. Uh... Yeah, it is that one. See if you can find another army of the another big army roaming around. Although I could actually like uh, make a companion that's gonna lead an army as well. We just need one good battle so we can get a ton of kills. actually get them a high leadership amount so we can grab a couple of troops because I don't think the AI is gonna be able to fight back that well All right let's see if there's a alliance formed with anyone anywhere no not really that's sad I do wish that fun that functioned a little bit better I did see it in my playtest the Northern faction, uh, they got to deal with the alliance with the. I'm not sure if the Azerai or the Kuzites, one of those two. Which was freaking surprising. Oh, look at that. Their decision. <laughs> oh, there we go. Big sack of dudes. Two-handed barbarian. The fucking name, man. I got Spearman. Spearman mutineered. Yeah, the air definitely smart, fights a little bit smarter than they're just like mosh pit. They're actually staying somewhat informations. Let's go see. The mod actually makes them smarter. Okay, let's make a berserker our leader. Yes, uh, what do we need for them? We need them, we need them to have high stewardship and leadership and tactics. So stewardship, leadership, tactics. I'm not going to have that many troops to give them. Let's place these guys that are in my party there. The Sneeper. And I think I'm going to give this guy the Nordic troops. Once we get back to the Nordic territory, of course, we don't want them roaming, roaming around here. So let's get back, recruit along the way. Yeah, I'll let him do all those by himself. I 
What the Western Empire is getting wrecked, boys. Oh, big circle, dudes. Okay, what do I say? My second. This, this, and the axe. If we're on foot, let's see how that works out. In the shield wall, or behind the shield wall, better said. Oh god, uh, they might get, they might get attacked. Maybe? No? Okay, good. Yeah, now we look the part. <laughs> Infantry Make But that's pretty amazing that they man managed to make the shoulder to shoulder. Infantry actually like st uh, like shieldmen in front, non shielded troops in the back. Maybe I should have used this mod with the Roman Empire Eagle Rising later. I will definitely let next time. So our uh, Eagle banner carriers are not in front. The music sets. <laughs> we'll see, use the shield and sword for a little bit. Actually, we'll charge in. We're gonna kill them before they get here. Then again, I did set horse archers at the back, at their backs. Why am I surprised that they get, got wrecked? Why the hell did I just try to dodge like it's fucking Vermintide? I have no freaking clue. Okay, apparently these guys got their, uh, they got broke again, broke as well. Their vocalization that is. Of course, it's gonna be a battalion fian. So many prisoners, nothing to do with, yeah, nothing to do with them. Variety. I'm actually surprised to see my morale that low. Usually it's a hundred percent all the time. Okay, let's go back to the Nordic territory, grab a couple of more troops and give it to the other guy and set him up. I'm gonna end the stream after that probably. Unfortunately, that bug at the beginning screwed me over a little bit. It'll crash. I hope this doesn't crash as well. Wants to try and load back in. In a day or two. Hopefully it's not. 
an aggression pack. Good. Expired as well, so we might go to war with Volandians pretty soon. Is it what? Okay, now. Okay, not, that, not that button. And parties. Create another one. M. We can hold 70 troops. Nice. Even a couple of berserkers, a couple of these. Yeah, that should be enough. Another known name. Here's our heroes of a ship position. Let's see. Good equipment. Let's give him a horse. Wait, what? Oh, right. This side. No saddle. Saddling? No saddle. Blah, blah, blah. Saddling? Right. Composition plan. Uh, troops you should recruit. Figuring out which of these are actually going to be the Nordic troops is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, not those. Oh no, these are the Empire troops. So that's it, actually. Those two, and those two go into the higher tier ones. Now a bunch of his here. Or wait, no, 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 no. A bunch of these. A couple of these. And the highest tier of Valkyrie. The marchers as well. This is the highest tier. Yes, it is. Okay. Recruit from prisoners now. Now, let's see. New assignment. Run the land. Show me the options. Uh, new assignment for you. Roam the land. Didn't bother with anything. You know what to do. Okay, we set that up. That's gonna be it for today. Okay, so we did form another party last time. That's gonna help us around. And we're more or less ready to join the kingdom and hopefully get some land we'll see it would be possible if he I can hold a hundred troops how much the other party can underneath we do need to go and recruit and basically we just need to farm her now now to bring up our clan level a little bit higher clan party companion limit party size yeah we can make another party go around we can have more troops no we got prisoners yeah Like how we'll, we're stealing all the recruits from the other lords in here. Switch these around.
Mm. Maneuver is definitely a little bit... I think maneuver is a bit more important than speed, but the big difference there is going to ruin it. Yeah, there is a tournament. We got some. Let's get some practicing. Uh, what the? F a camel is the prize. God, the two washers are gonna kill me. Maybe not. This one looks l less likely to win. Yeah. So much for that. I do hate the win. I wish you could actually pick your weapons in the tournaments. That would be so much better. Not get. I mean, the game gives you a bow. I got zero in bows. Like, come on, really? Be nice if the kingdom actually declared war on Tanya, so we can grab these two. We can fix up our borders a little bit, just a little bit. It would be great to take them out because they, I think, pose most. Uh, I think the Kazites pose the most threat just because their skirmish archers can slaughter us on the field. That's a pretty big Batanian army though. Let's go wander around, see if we can find those big Renegades army armies again. Yeah, a big, a nice big fight with them. We do need to create another companion that's going to be the leader of the second party as well. Seventy two, nice. Let's go grab him. Ah, oh, never mind. So I got to them. Not gonna be doing any of those missions. They don't give, uh, they, give a, they give a decent amount of renown, but it's pretty low at this point. I do wonder, does, is the AI actually like uh, creating their own parties like this? It would be pretty fucking interesting if they are. I think they are since... I don't think I've seen some of these names before. They're roaming around. Oh, there we go. Turn off the UI. Keep forgetting to turn it off. Let's 
ragdoll, man. So unrealistic. Look at, look at that. What the fuck are we on ice? We need to level up the recruits as well. So let's get the cab of this over here. Actually, now since we have some berserkers and they're in the back, if the enemy just goes around the shield wall, they should be taking care of them, right? Yeah, that would be the idea. One guy down on our side. Nice. I don't know what what it is, but the difficulty doesn't seem as good as before. Look at this. Eh, Google and security. Eh, they're freaking annoying. KXP, nice. Yeah, we want the first ones. To get a, bit, a little bit more berserkers. Since we did give a lot of them to the other party. Now we are gonna get more renown if we actually fight lords and conquer land, but we're not at war yet. I'm surprised that we didn't declare war on Batania, to be honest. You know, that seems to be the, our natural enemy, I guess you could say. Stop aiming at me. No, 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 no. Yeah, focus on someone else. <laughs> I think both of these are my companions as well. Yeah, they are. Might lose here then. Then again, they are archers, so we might... No, we don't have a chance. Nope. Find some more lo big looter armies to knock out. 29, not worth. Well, we could we could auto resolve it. See how far we do. Let's see. Only one loss. Decent. Grab the meat.
Uh, does that do anything? Culture is giving us 72 dinaris. What, what? What the? F I'm not sure what that is. Or it's supposed to be. go a nice big sack of dudes commercials we want more berserkers These names, man, I got to remember them. It doesn't help that they're not in English. Again, or neither were the Roman ones, but I do know a little bit about that than this. Hmm? up there oh shit oh that was close the AI is gonna do. It's a fucked up there. Eight losses, not bad, considering. It gives us more space to pick up some battalion fions as well. Yeah, Berserker's nice. Okay, let's go sell these off and then go pick up some Battalion Fions. Maybe we don't really need to. We could just go with the Norse Sarches, but... If we can, why not? They're gonna be our Cretan Archers, after all. Daniels are actually exp is are they expanding? Yep, they are. A little bit. Well, it's no surprise if the AI is doing a little bit, being a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay, I can't go down on this one, that's for sure. Or else we might die. I do hate the, the, the fact that they, 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 they didn't let you move the camera around like in Total War. No restricted camera and all that. That's fucking sucky. Take 
Infantry! Forward! Archers! And get the archers there. in the back Ooh, and they got the really long ones as well Cavalry. we have a decent amount of cow as well many battalion fion champions as well Ooh. That's a freaking lot of Vikings or troops. Well, they are Vikings, more or less. Let's keep them like this. Where the fuck's that one guy going? Reform a little bit. Form a shield. Form a line. A shield. Cavalry. Forward. Buttons there. I get my killed. I get my guys killed. so they don't break I don't know why they are With your pull arms, with 30% more chance to knock back opponents back. Knock back opponents. Pull arm attacks are deal over 25% of enemy cavalry hits. Let's mount them. Let's go with this one this time. See how it works. How does it work out for me? Increase carry capacity of pack animals. Yeah, we want that. 